Grand Rising Beloves. I woke up this morning thinking about BCR Measles and how when I used to be watching his lives, I used to say to myself, he's always going somewhere and he's always in a party or something. You can't trust everybody in a party. You don't know who you're dealing with when you go to these functions and if you're going to be in a position like that, if that's the life you choose, you have to make sure you protect yourself at all times. You can't just go and do what you want to do in places that you would think is safe is no longer safe for you because the people that may be hunting you or whatever people that might be there that are troublemakers that you run into know that it's a place where it wouldn't be expected. So, you know, it's easy for them to do what they feel they got to do because it's not an area that's active now. There's not even, you could say before, they would never do this here or they would never do this there. It's not like that no more. And that got killed on uh, in the Gold Coast, which is equivalent to getting killed on Fifth Avenue in New York City. Like, who would ever think they would get killed in an area like that? Who would think they would get killed in an area of the suburbs? In a nice, quiet hotel, who would have the guts to have a shootout in a hotel? But this is where we at now, guys. This is where we at. Murder, murder, murder. And it takes nothing for someone to want to murder you nowadays. It's no more fights. And then shaking your hands like a man. Or fights between, you know, it's still fights between women, but. It's just getting really, really nasty and ugly out here. Um, King XK47 just posted a video, video not too long, not a video, but he uh, made a video talking about a man who killed his mother and his girlfriend and put it on and then was showing the bodies on live. Like, what is this, a trend? These are people who have low energy and they're being affected by all of this technology and all of these vibrational frequency waves that's coming out and they low frequency and they get affected and they can't control themselves. As far as measles is concerned, energy, energy. If you, if you live your life in darkness or any type of darkness, you saturate yourself with it. It's like you're a magnet for negativity or a magnet for whatever it is you're putting out there, guys. The energy is more intense after December 21st when the planets aligned. The energy is more intense, guys. There's a lot of energy and a lot of things that's going on spiritually that you guys don't know about. You have to be careful what you put out, what comes in your mouth, and the actions you take against other people. Because it's going to come back and bite you in some type of way, and it's not going to take a long time. It's happening really fast now. Even if you're a good person, but you're subjecting yourself to wickedness, speaking on the dead, um, and stuff like that, that's not natural, and the universe is not having it. The universe is trying to shut that down. And when we don't listen to the universe, and when we don't listen to the higher realms, then they will start doing the cleaning out process themselves. Because it's natural, the frequency doesn't belong there, and it's just getting rid of it. The universe doesn't operate with emotions. The universe operates via frequency and vibration. And if you're vibrating on a low level, it's going to get rid of you because the planet has to go in a higher level direction to clean up. So it's it's cleaning itself out of all this negativity. And you have to understand that just because you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not the truth. 
We're living in a time where you have to understand about vibrations and frequencies. Because that's what the world is made up of. That's how the world operates. That's why they have TV and, and, and they, they, they infiltrated our music to keep us on a low vibration so we could be subjected to these waves that's coming out. And we can be malleable, receptive for these type of things. If you notice before um, Kobe was murdered, that's when they, you know, before, right after COVID was murdered, I mean, Kobe was m murdered, that's when COVID came out. Right after. Because they had to make us malleable and receptive. And us being in a low emotional vibration makes us malleable and receptive to certain things. We don't understand how we operate, but they do. And slowly but surely, I'm trying to make you guys understand it so you know how to really move. It's not just about music, moving in the physical realm. It's about bringing good karma to you and arming yourself with positive good energy for protection. Because it's anything goes out here. It's like when um, they said the king was looking for Jesus, the baby, to kill the baby. And God said... Put the blood of Jesus on your door and they will go right past you. It's something similar to that. Your energy has to be vibrating on a certain level for things to go past you. But if you want to indulge in low level frequency things, like getting on these posts and saying VDK and talking nasty to people's moms who lost their kids on either side, the wickedness, well, that's the type of energy you're going to bring to yourself. So peace and love. I just wanted to drop that this morning. I'll be dropping more and more as it comes to me about vibrations and frequencies and how it how it relates to us and how it affects us because it's very important right now, family. Have a good day.